There was a time when Pixar would put its name on a film and you knew it was going to be of the highest quality. An animation classic in the making, something the whole family would appreciate and love. A24 has taken that crown, sat it atop its bloated head, and has reigned supreme for the last few years saying, Look at me, critic! Hear me roar! And here we are again, but this time it's no lion, it's a lamb. And instead of a roar, it's bullshit. In 2021, a foreign film featuring an anthropomorphic lamb hit the theaters. I missed it, unfortunately. I thought the trailers looked really exciting, very bizarre, very captivating. But it kind of unceremoniously came and went, and before I knew it, it was out of the theaters, whisked away from the box office and right out of my life. And it wouldn't be uttered until a week back, when a YouTube member would throw out some money and say, Adam, you have to watch Lamb, you have to review it, and you have to give me a shout out. And because I offer this tier on Patreon at Adam Does Movies, and right here on YouTube via that join button, I had to listen, I had to watch, and I have to shout out. So thank you, Shadow Hunter, for this horrible recommendation. Did he do it in jest to get my goat? Pun intended. It's hard to know, but I would say yes. I think he doesn't really like this and he knew I would find it miserable. But on the other hand, Rotten Tomatoes has it at 86% with critics creaming in their pants saying, we want more lamb. The film's rated R. I don't even know why. It's an hour and 46 minutes long. I don't even know why. And I watched the whole damn thing and I don't even know why. Let's get the pros out of the way, I guess. It looks really, really lovely. It's shot in Iceland, it's beautiful. A lot of cinematic shots of the mountains, mist rolling in, very, very pretty. A lot of wide angle shots being utilized here. Pretty, pretty stuff. Great, who cares? Fucking cares. The movie's boring as all ass. Numi Rapace is in this, Numi Rape Ass. I don't know how you say her name. She's solid, doing very little, looking miserable, looking depressed. That's the, the couple in this movie, here, here's the plot. Let me break down the plot. A sheep gives birth, a miraculous birth, to a child lamb that it's, it's got the body of a kid and the head of a lamb. Did the guy bang the sheep? We, we've heard about stories of farmers doing this. No, because there was an intro of this heavy breathing demon creature. We don't see it. We just hear, <sighs> and then the lamb was obviously taken, penetrated. Uh, gifted gifted a baby or several because it births a couple out and then this miraculous conception comes out and it's miraculously inconceivable how we have this child lamb walking around and I will say Marie and her husband are absolutely smitten with this thing day fun they don't really even bat an eye about it they look at it they look at each other they're like okay this is our baby now we're taking it in we're gonna make this work now, later we find out that they have buried a couple kids, it looks like. Uh, the, the birthing process didn't go well, probably miscarriages, or who knows. Everything is up in the air. Everything's left for your interpretation. It's one of those films. It is what you make of it. The movie is so fucking boring. It's tedious to sit through. If you like beautiful wallpaper backgrounds, sure, you get some nice landscapes here for a long time. It loses its luster. If you're looking for something scary, look somewhere else. There's nothing scary in this at all. If you're looking for thrills, none here. It is just tedious, monotonous, walking around, once in a while looking at the lamb kid, eating a bowl of cereal, or stumbling out the fucking door. He doesn't talk. He doesn't do anything. He is just a stock thing that's there sometimes. It brings nothing to the table, adds nothing at all. Could just be a regular kid. Actually, no, a regular kid would do more. Peter rolls up later in the film. That's the husband's brother. He had a fling or some sort of history with Maria in the past. It's brought up, there, there's definitely tension there. That's okay. He looks like Nick Offerman if he was trying out for Greece. Young Nick Offerman in Greece. That's what this guy's persona is. He adds a little bit of friction little bit of a dynamic there, a uh, little bit of interesting kind of push and pull with these characters. But no, it's still, it's still trash. It's still so freaking lame. 
Where's the demonic stuff? Where is that twist or that, that amazing turn that I was promised from the trailer? The trailer made it look like it was gonna be this really creepy, unnerving thing. You know, is this really a cute little lamb boy or is there something, is he like the, the devil spawn? Is he the devil itself? Because we often see that the devil is depicted with horns and hooves and maybe it's that. Oh, it's another fucking folklore type thing. Another legend. Great. Wonderful. I'm not sick of those yet from A24. And that's it. That's the whole movie. The whole movie is these people raising this lamb kind of looking at each other once in a while, having almost no dialogue, and then having the douchebag brother come along, throws a wrench into their little family dynamic. He still doesn't really ask a lot of questions because they're like, don't ask us anything about what happened here or how this is possible. And he's like, okay, all right. This is not how people talk. It's ridiculous. This movie is a chore to get through. I hate you, Shadowhunter, for this recommendation. I hate you for this! I watched it with my wife. We almost divorced over this thing. She almost left me. The bags were packed at the door. And I was like, not like this. Not like this. And she kind of looked over her shoulder. And she's like, you've been bad. You've been really bad for recommending this movie to me. And I said, it wasn't me. It was Shadowhunter. And she's like, that's not a person's name. That's not a name I can connect with. I thought maybe she would love this movie and we could ram afterwards. That's another sheep thing. And it's not because she grew sheepish. It's because this movie sucked ass. It put everybody out of the mood. And truth be told, I used to like sheep. And now I don't. Now I don't even want to see one. I don't even want to look in one's general direction because I'm going to think of lamb. And what a waste of time it was. We have one shot on planet Earth, folks. And an hour and 45 was stripped from me. Taken from my being. My soul is shattered from this film. It sucks so hard. It's boring. 86% and Rotten Tomatoes. Fuck you, 86%. What were you guys watching? Oh, Lamb is so intriguing. There's nothing quite like it. I could film a fucking washing machine for two hours, I guess, and put A24 in front of it, and these critics would be like, Yes! Yeah, the wa have you seen the washing machine movie? It's two hours of a washing machine. Amazing. I'm gonna make a love story for A24 between a woman and a lawn gnome. And the twist is, is the lawn gnome actually alive? And does it have magic? Or is it just a fucking garden ornament? It's the latter. It doesn't matter. A24, art, beautiful, brilliant, cinematic masterpiece, no. Lamb is boring, it's tedious, it's not worth anyone's time, I dare you. I, I freaking dare you to put the comment down. You just didn't understand it. You just didn't understand the complexities or the intricacy of Lamb. What, it, it, it's a spiritual thing, it, it's representative of the Bible and, and the, the passion of the Christ, or, or it's, it's like allegorical, or it's metaphorical. I don't fucking metafuck you, I don't care. I don't care what it represents. It's boring as hell to watch. Go ahead and dissect it if you want. I got better things to do. I want to thank Shadowhunter for, for the recommendation. Son of a bitch. He knew I was going to suffer with this. I know he knew I was going to suffer with this. I knew he knew I knew he knew I was going to suffer with this. But I thank him anyways. It was still nice to finally get to watch it. Have an excuse to watch Lamb, even if it was a miserable one. All right, thank you very much. Like this video if you had a good time. Please subscribe if you haven't. I post tons of movie-related content each and every week. Sometimes it's old, sometimes it's new. Every time it's engaging. I'm giving you my A for effort, and in return, I'm just asking for a like. I'm just asking for a subscribe handout, maybe a comment to keep it in the algorithm. I don't know how it works, but maybe you do, and you can help me out. All right, well, that's Lamb. I'm Adam, and hopefully I'll see you next time.